Okay, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of this uh, low precision axis that I've made. Uh, the thing that's driving it is a little servo uh, winch assembly. There's a motor in here with some uh, simple transmission that turns this uh, shaft and the shaft uh, is kind of a two-way winch so uh, the, uh, there's a, there's a push-pull going on and it runs over to this pulley way over here this is some, some Kevlar uh, fishing line so this can move uh, we, can pull and, uh, we can pull in two directions around that pulley this uh, servo winch is, a, is running on a node MCU board and a little 12 volt uh, H bridge driver and we only need half of that for this we, we're only controlling one motor and uh, that little uh, TO220 package you see back there is a 7805 because this board is pretty good but you do need uh, you do need to provide logic power supply and the, uh, the little onboard linear power regulator, voltage regulator on the Node MCU board just isn't up to dropping from 12 volts down to 3.3 so I've kind of wired in a, an LM7805 voltage regulator and it's uh, it's got no capacitors on it but there's some capacitors on this board that seem to stabilize it okay and then that's just, uh, so 12 volts go in there and then the, uh, the Node MCU board is talking to my laptop, which I'm going to show you. Um, the, uh, to, to find home position, there's a little reed relay, uh, a, a little reed switch right in here. And there's a couple of magnets mounted on this little sled. And so the, the, uh, the program knows when it turns on to, to uh, move this way until uh, till it detects that the close on that read switch so I'm just gonna power up so we can see that so there's a little goofy little power switch in there okay so it moves to uh, moves to find that position with the magnet and then uh, it takes commands of position commands here so if I if I command it to say uh, 55, off it goes to 55, and uh, here's about, I don't know, 10 pounds. Um, so there's, there's something that rides on that sled, but this is kind of a test load. But if I give it a command to 200, it usually moves that load, and uh, it's using about uh, 2 watts when it's, when it's going as hard as it can. Uh, so it's a pretty power efficient little thing. On standby it's maybe about one watt. And uh, you can hear there's a bit of whine there because uh, it needs a little tuning for this higher load situation. Uh, anyway this is a 3D printed servo winch and you can find plans on Thingiverse and uh, all the parts are available on Thingiverse.